Mm. Hello. Um, welcome to Better Reading. My goodness, this is a bit exciting on a Thursday afternoon. I'm usually looking at, looking at the time and thinking about school pickups. This is way more exciting. Um, welcome. My name is Catherine Mahoney and I never thought I'd be able to say this, but I'm an author, which is really exciting. Um, this is my first book, Currently Between Husbands. Spoiler alert, uh, I get divorced, uh, but uh, but you know, it gets better. There's a happy ending-ish. Um, what can I tell you about my book? Um, it's a memoir. I pitch it to people as um, Bridget Jones meets Eat, Pray, Love, but with less yoga, um, more vodka and bigger undies. So yes, that's, uh, that's what you'll get from me. Um, and what else can I say? Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what Amanda Keller, who wrote my forward said, she said, strap in, you're in for a fabulous ride and you'll be wishing, like I was before I knew her, that she was your friend. It's a bloody good book and I didn't want it to end. So that's very lovely. Anyway, people are here, how exciting. Jessica Gill, you're reading Saving Grace by Jane Green. Lovely to see you here. Jane Tara, great to see you, thank you. Sharon Hill, hi, welcome. What's everybody reading? Uh, probably from my accent you can tell, um, that I'm from England. I moved here uh, 20 years ago uh, as a backpacker. Um, but these two came with me, my favourite kids books. So yes, books books for life, these two. Um, Kathy Sheriff, wow, Catherine, my name too. Your book sounds fabulous. Thank you very much. Uh, Maria, good afternoon. Lovely to have you here. The Nurses' War by Victoria Perman. I don't know that book. I'll have to have a look, Nicole. Sounds like a goodie. Uh, Claire Lindley. You're reading Mean Baby by Selma Blair. Wow, fellow Brit, only been here three months, so oh, I hope you're loving it as much as I do. It's a beautiful country. Kate Jackson, hi, lovely to have you here. Sharon Hill, you are reading Her Time to Shine by Fiona McCallum. Have to have a look at that one. Who else have we got? Helen Edwards. I'm reading The German Wife by Kelly Rim and loving it. That's in my to read pile, so I'm glad to hear it's great. State of Terror by Louise Penny from Muriel Moran. Lovely to have you here. Tammy Russell, I'm reading, I don't know how she does it. Oh, I don't know that one. Uh, Maxine Dunn, Albie by Sydney Bayer. Okay. And Jane Harvey, hi, I'm reading You Need to Know by Nicola Moriarty. Oh, I love her. Kate Jackson, The Bay by Ali Reynolds. Maria, uh, currently reading The German Wife. Oh, we've, yes, it's a popular one, this one. And Emma Fitzgerald, hello, Better Reading Team. And Catherine, lovely to have you here. I feel like a TV presenter, but all of the comments are coming in pretty fast. Um, Karen Lyons, hi, I'm reading the Jane Austen Book Club. Oh, I loved that book, loved it. I hope you enjoy it too. Uh, Jane, you've just finished Airside, which is actually, I think it's the book of the week here. Where have you gone? Uh, entertaining Thriller. And I'm reading your book this weekend. Can't wait. Oh, hope you enjoy it. Uh, T. Trident, hello. I'm interested in writing a memoir. So look forward to reading your book. Oh, I love that. This is a book that I got when I was wanting, wanting to write my book. That's a, a great book if you want to have a look at that one. Oh, everything's going really fast. Hang on. Uh, Lisa Allen. Everyone in my family has killed someone by Benjamin Stevenson. Look forward to reading your book soon. I really enjoyed that book. I've, that's just, yeah, fabulous. Uh, Donna Mitchell, I'm reading Love. Again, Doris Lessing. Love a bit of love, although I'm pretty rubbish at it. Uh, Sally um, Bothroyd, I'm reading Larimer by Kylie Stevenson and Caroline Graham. Okay, that's one to add. Chris Saunders, hi, I'm reading Wild Dogs by Michael Trant. Uh, Yvonne, The Last Hours by Minette, Wal Minette Walters. Tried to put my teeth in, sorry. Um, Louise McLean, hello, reading. This is not a book about Benedict Cumberbatch. Oh my gosh, I love him. By Tabitha Car Caravan, Carvin. Um, I will, I'll, I'm adding that to my pile, a bit of Benedict. Uh, Tars, hi Catherine, I'm reading Tower of Down by Sarah J Mass. Carol Jeff Shefford, um, I've just finished The Murder Rule by Devlin McTurnan, loved it, great, love that. Uh, Susan Harris, hi, reading the 
Tomorrow, When the War Started series by John Marston. Love John Marston books. Um, T Trident, I didn't see the book you suggested. Oh, it's this one, Catherine Devney, Use Your Words. It's good for writing um, any book, and it certainly kicked started me about three years ago. Now, where are we? Uh, Claire Lindley also just started Sea of Tranquility by Emily St. John Mandel. A bit strange, okay? Emma Fitzgerald, currently reading 13 Stories by Jonathan Thim Sims. Very creepy at the moment and loving it. We do love, I do love to a creepy thriller. I do love that. What I've realized too is I'll often buy the same book twice in different countries when I see it. I loved this book, Julian Barnes, A Sense of an Ending. Very delicate and just, oh, beautiful. Anyway, I've got two copies. Maybe I should give one away. Um, where are we up to? Okay. Jacqueline Francis Bell. I'm reading The Jewel of St. Petersburg by Kate Furnival. Haven't read her before. No, I haven't either. Uh, what else have we got? T. Trident, the memoir book, Patty Jenny Miller. Talking about memoirs, I'll just stop you there. I, I can't get enough memoirs. <laughs> I realised when I was preparing for this, I'm just like memoir central here. And then we've got that woman, like a little bit of that. So yes, I'm all for the memoirs. Um, Vanessa Hatfield, welcome. I'm reading Elevation by Stephen King. I love Stephen King. They were they were the books of my youth. You'd go on holiday, you get a duty free Toblerone, and I would read my Stephen King books. I loved them, but I haven't read that one. Uh, Tim Chalk, hi. Just finished Lem Saslaus's novel. Probably said that wrong. Solaris, and need something a bit lighter to read now. Um, this is much lighter, definitely much lighter. Uh, Vivian Underwood, hi Catherine. I'm reading Queens of Thempsichira by Hannah Lynn, listening to The Enchanted April by Elizabeth von Arman. Both excellent and I'll check yours out, please do. I also narrate my audio book. Uh, I have two podcasts, so I don't mind a chat on the microphone. Um, and I love audio books, I tend to, tend to listen to more audiobooks now when I'm walking the park. Emma Fitzgerald, use your words, sounds awesome. We'll have to add it to my to be read pile. Honestly, it's brilliant. She's so funny. She's a Melbourne writer, she's fab. Caroline Manners, hello, Catherine. Lovely to have you here. Uh, Cindy Hooper, just finished The Secret Saint Madeline by Tilly Bagshaw and now reading The Understudy by Julie Bennett. Um, yesterday when I popped into the shops, one of the gentlemen that I knew there said that he's reading Starling's Wine Cellar. They've just found Starling's Wine Cellar and I believe it's a, a Sydney author that's um, that's penned that. He said it was like the, the lost ark of, uh, of Indiana Jones. So anyway, I'm, I'm interested to read that, do like a bit of history. Um, Jane Tara, out of all those memoirs you just held up, which one was your favourite? Oh, probably Stephen Fry. I just think he's absolutely fabulous and he can do no wrong in my uh, in my eyes. He's fabulous. Although saying that, Christian O'Connell, who's an English guy who is a DJ, I think he does Gold FM in Melbourne, Breakfast. His book was fantastic. Really enjoyed that. And people like Ricky Gervais, uh, some of the uh, praise quotes on the back. So, yes, that's fabulous. Really enjoyed that. Uh, Claire, I love audio books, but I don't like listening to fiction. Non-fiction and historical fiction are great to read, though. Yes, I agree. Um, certain books you really need to, or certain books I need to underline and fold pages and come back to. Uh, this is, where is she? This is a book that I haven't read yet. And once all of, all of my book tour stuff stops, I'm really keen to read. Ella Ward, 27 Letters to My Daughter. Um, she's from Melbourne. I've read the first two chapters and it's fabulous. So um, yeah, big plug to Ella's book. Vivian Underwood, completely agree about Stephen Fry. He is quite wonderful. He really is. Actually, start my morning off everyday reading from Sunrise Gratitude. It's just um, it's just half a, half a page on each day and it sets you up. It's a beautiful book. You can see that one. Uh, Claire, what is 27 Letters about? Let me tell you. 
when death is dancing closer than you'd like, what becomes important? What do you need to tell your child and how do you want to be remembered? A beautiful, tender and funny and poignant guide on how to really live. Um, Ella got diagnosed with cancer. Luckily, she's cancer free now. And so she started to write um, letters to her daughter. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Jane, can you show us the inside pages of the Morning Gratitude book? I can. Uh, where is it? It's such a beautiful book and it's it's weird, you know, every morning you kind of start your day with exactly what you're meant to hear. So it's like that. Emily, Sil Emily, Emily Sylvia has written that book. You can get it online, it's fabulous. Uh, Emma Fitzgerald, definitely. I love his audio books, absolutely. Another favourite that I have read and reread, I'm a bit of a rereader, is Cheryl Strayed tiny beautiful things where she has a sort of um oh um oh she's she's like a, an agony aunt and people write in and she writes um sort of back to their letters it's fabulous for love for broken hearts for mending just just a beautiful book what um have have I think I've done all of the comments now I think I've got everyone in um so yes letters to my daughter is something that i'm very much looking forward to reading once i finish doing all of my stuff with my book um yes uh what am i listening to on audio at the moment um i just finished um meg mason's sorrow and bliss um which i'd already i'd already read the book um but i i listened to the audio book um it's just fabulous and Meg very kindly gave me my cover quote. She said, desperately funny, fearless and full of heart. So thank you very much, Meg Mason, for that. Um, what is my favorite Aussie read? Gosh, what would it be? Oh, I just, I did love, I mean, my last one was Sorrow and Bliss, so probably that one for now. How long, Sharon Hill, how long did it take to write your book? Um, it took, thank goodness for lockdown, um, it took me about six months to write. Um, it's quite a long process when you pitch a book um, and then, yeah, you have your, your sort of rights and your rewrites. But I wrote this book because I wanted something on the shelves when, when my marriage ended. I wanted a book. I really wanted Bridget Jones, I guess, to have got divorced so I, I could get through uh, what was about to happen through the eyes of, uh, of Bridget. Um, but she hasn't got divorced. Uh, and so I, that's why I wrote this book. Um, Claire, can you tell us a bit about your book? Absolutely. Um, two weeks before my 40th birthday, my marriage ended. Um, and um, it really is me just kind of, I suppose, uh, it's just me sharing that, that experience. Um, there's lots of humour in it, very self-deprecating, um, but there's lots of emotions and tears. I've had some beautiful feedback from people who have already read it. It's only been out a week. Um, and they've said, you know, they laughed, they cried, they spat their wine out. Um, so yes, and you don't have to be divorced or looking to get divorced to read it. I think there's lots about falling in love, um, growing up in the UK. I moved to Australia in part on the advice of a horoscope, moved, moved to Brisbane with a lovely chap. And then I moved to Sydney and I got a great job at Sony Music. So there's lots of funny stories about um, about my time there. Um, so yes, it's a uh, oh gosh, it's, it's funny talking about your own book to yourself. <laughs> um, Claire, do you have a go-to book which you turn to in tough times? Um, yes, I do actually. This one because it's lots of different um, sort of anecdotes and stories. This one always picks me up. I love a good wine spitting story, Jane. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Um, okay, well, I think we're good. Um, does anybody have anything else they want to share or any other books that, that you're reading? Okay, well, perfect timing. I can uh, now get ready for school pickups um, and I have my first book signing. Uh, later on uh, in Sydney. So I'm very excited and nervous. Um, but I'd like to say um, thank you very much, Better Reading, for having me. Um, and thank you very much all for, for being here. I hope everyone has a great rest of their day.
Thank you.